70s, the love child of the 60s. First to LSD and San Francisco, flower power and the grateful dead, then practice put to the test and passing with our rainbow colors flying. We thought the equal rights amendment would pass as well, but the Finnish Laughleys uh, screamed about dead military daughters, co-ed armies rife with sex. She had a husband to bake cookies for. Stanford, Connecticut, various bartending gigs. In one, we served gay couples, black and white, hetero couples, street people, business executives, muscular guys in the loading dock at Caldors, all regulars, all, hey, Billy, race riots of Howard Beach were still the awful future. And you haven't lived till Dee Dee Ramon bums a smoke off you. And you haven't died till your boss feels you up when you polished bar lamps. No laws broken. No cops to call. His dropped pants. Hey, look, Rosie. No Bill Clinton us could pay day back then. No final way to lose a job because you won't fuck that boss. No better way to not get hired at all than because you're female. Explain to your face and firm rejection at a sports bar. They hire girls. Now, these days, I could sue Harry and his dropped pants and the Bobby Valentine sports bar and anyone of a number of engineering firms. I, I could do that now. But the, but the stupidity of the 70s was his innocence, too. And somewhere in the smoke and frying egg rolls, Larry and his lover Billy walk in, and the bar yells, Hey, Billy! Years before Cheers and Hey Norm, and the homeless guy argues with his invisible friend, and the dock guy's arm wrestle, and the businessmen drink scotch to oblivion, and one someday to eventual frostbite, and couples of any skin, any sex, any religion drink too much and drive home anyway, safe as houses. Time. Oh. Oh.